What's up everybody? This is your boy K Ray. Back at you again. So what I'm doing today is just showing everybody how to maintain their temperature um on the on the pit on a smoker. Um preferably uh offset smoker. Well, which is known as fire box smokers, stick burners, uh got various names. So just finished the video showing how to start the fire and now that the fire is going, uh this is one thing that you that you want you know you want your smoke to be uh, coming out the stack pretty good and it's coming out this stack uh, thin and blue you can see uh, straight through it you know um, real good circulation on it and uh, meat is cooking good and one one rule of thumb maintaining your temperature is that you don't want to keep opening uh, the door to your chamber because it loses heat and it takes too much and, and it takes time for it to get back up to temp so when it does that uh, you you extend your cook time and you don't want that you know once you get your meat on you gotta trust your pit you gotta tr trust your temperature you know trust uh, the fire that you have going so uh, the temperature is the key to everything so right here um, as you can see my temp is like around about 230 which it dropped off a little bit from what I was um, um, planning on cooking at, which is between 250 and 275. But, you know, smoking is like 225 on up. You go below 225, 200, then you are in trouble. So um, let's take a look at the firebox and see um, what's going on in the firebox. That may be a reason why my temp is going down. All right, as you can see, the wood is burning really good, and um, it's really time to put another log on there because you know I like to keep my my, my uh, you know like when it starts burning down to embers, that's what that's called like you know when the wood is white and gray, that's called amber. So. Like you don't want it to burn completely down because it takes too long for another log to catch up. So this is like the perfect time to do it. You know, one thing you could tell is like when you have your wood stacked uh, and it falls down like it like it is here, it's really time to put another log on. So I got my welding gloves on. I really don't need the tongs. I just grab this my welding glove, move that, find me a piece of wood to grab, and just stick it right in now. Stick it right in now. Just leave a little gap so you can get some air circulation um, on the wood. There you go. Once that catch up, my temp will come back up and uh, the, the pit will keep burning efficiently. So basically, rule of thumb is just check maybe every 45 minutes um, on your fire. And, uh, you know, if you see that it, it's, it fell down um, and it's turning into ambers, it's really time to put another um, wood, piece of wood on because that's what's actually cooking the wood, I mean, cooking the food now. The wood is turning into ambers, which are the same thing as coals. So, um, but the difference with the wood, you're getting the, the wood flavor um, in your meat. If you keep a good, efficient uh, fire burning, you ain't got to worry about over smoke. Let's see. I just put another stick of wood on there. Let's see how my, uh, excuse me, let's see how the uh, stack works. Another fire, another piece of wood to stack still coming out really nice and clear and thin. And that's what you want. That's how you know you got a good, clean, uh, burning fire. So at this point, that's basically it. Um, you know, had the firebox open, everything, temp went down, but it's coming back up gradually. And when it hit my um, target, I'll just uh, adjust my damper on it and let it roll for about 45 more minutes and uh, check the wood. All right, later. Right, everybody, it's your boy K Ray. I'm back. Been about 45 minutes since last time we checked on the pit. Uh, for temp, um, 
right now. It's holding at 228, which is not bad. That's still a good um, smoking temp right there. Damper, about 50% open. I mean, it's the procedure that you want to do when you come out to check your pit. Check your temp. See how your smoke doing? Really, really nice and clean. Now you barely can see it coming out of that. So that's definitely, definitely what you want. So already check your damper. Then the next thing you do, check your fire box. As you can see again, the wood is ambered, uh, burning down the charcoals, nice and efficient. Fell down again, which is a sign that you need to add more wood. And uh, all you gotta do is just move that around. Uh, grab my glove right quick, and I'll show you. And this should be, be it right here. Um, on how to maintain your fire because you're doing the same thing over and over again all the time. Grab you a piece of wood, move it around in here, find your spot, just throw the wood on there. Just that simple. Let it catch. Look, it's catching already. So the main thing, the most important thing is not to let your uh, wood burn all the way down uh, because if you do if your temp get too low if your temp fall anywhere from uh, 15 to 20 degrees then you know it's time to take a look at it so you know if you're shooting for 250 if I to 235 225 then you know it's time to put some more wood on now to, to get it back up I mean you can just see how quick um, that wood caught and it's just that simple and if you're burning with coals this is the same thing, but like on stick burners, that's why they call it stick burners because they feed off of wood. They burn more efficient, more hot. Your food going to taste better with, um, with wood. But if you uh, burning charcoal, use the same procedure. You can put some coals in there, or you can start more coals up in your chimney and put it in there to get instant heat. Same thing. But with me, I don't want to be starting no chimney every 45 minutes or whatever I come out here. I just want to chunk a piece of wood on there and get it over with. And uh, that's it. Shut it down and uh, good to go. So just remember, the four most important things is the temperature, the damper, checking the damper, checking your stack to see how efficient your pit is burning. See, I've been burning with all wood, and it's just clear as a whistle. You can't see nothing uh, coming out the stack, and that's what you want. Your meat is gonna always be good, and uh, and check your fire box, and, and you're good. Fire box, damper, temp, stack. Remember that, and you won't have no problem with uh, putting out a good product every time uh, you barbecue. So this K Ray from K Ray's Q, Southern Style Barbecue. Now, Texas Style Barbecue, my bad, and Southern Style Cooking. So stay tuned. I appreciate everybody that's been, uh, you know, looking at my videos, uh, commenting, giving me thumbs up, and subscribing. And uh, I hope this uh, tutorial was, uh, was good for you. So y'all yeah, get the grilling, get the smoking out there, and uh, let somebody taste your, your good food and let them know uh, K-Ray help you out. Alright, later.